Welcome to episode 21. I just got an elite clue from fishing, which is pretty nice. Let's see if we can actually do it. Sure, this is Sherlock. Well, probably not. I will try and do this clue, and then what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to get my smithing up, because I do want to get some achievement diaries done today, and for two of them, I need a mithril grapple. I want to get medium arty and medium, well, easy and medium Falador diaries done today. So... Let's try and do this clue, and then we'll get on the smithing grind. Let's hope it's like Wielder Dragon Simi or something. Cook a swordfish. That is something I can do. Alright, sweet, let's go do that. Because I haven't completed an elite yet, I'm going to show every step until I can finally do this, or I have to drop it. So, let's see what this one is. Oh man, that's definitely the Wielder, isn't it? Uh, well, I'm not going there, so I'll just wait for another elite. <laughs> oh well, let's go and do some smithing. So what I'm going to do is, because I have more coal in the bank than I do myth ore, I'm just going to buy, sorry, buy, I have more than two times the amount of coal than I do the myth ore, I'm going to buy up to 689 myth ore, and then I can make 689 myth bars. I also need to get gold gauntlets if I want to make gold bars. So what I'm probably going to do, because I do want to have cooking gauntlets and gold gauntlets at the same time, I'm going to do that like mini quest. I know it costs like 500k to get both gauntlets, but you know what, I don't mind. I I need to use my money anyway, so I'm going to buy this Mythor, then I'm going to go get the gold gauntlets, and then I'll come back here and I'll start smelting. So just finishing the family quest side quest, or family pest. This is probably a waste of 500k, but... I don't mind, maybe in the long run it'll be worth it. So... This will get me all three gauntlets. I've already got the cooking ones, but maybe now I can use the others. Now I'm just claiming the goldsmith gauntlets. I'll just get a spare, even though I know there's a placeholders. I do like getting two. Alright, and now let's start the smithing. So this is going to be my setup. These are all my ores. I have the gloves and NG pots. I'll pay the dwarfs with this and I'll update you if I get 55 smithing or if I run out of ores first. I'm not sure what will happen. So let's go. 55 smithing. So I finished making all the ores into bars. I got 745 gold and 691 mithril, which is not too bad. I think I used about 50k, actually no, about 40k in the coffer slash paying the dwarf to let me use it. Wasn't too bad. I've now got 55 smithing. And I think I'm going to make mithril darts all the way, well, until I use all the bars, and then hopefully that'll get me 59 so I can make a uh, mithril grapple. If I can't, then I'll just boost for it, so that's no problem. And I'm not sure what I want to do with the gold bars. I'll probably eventually, like, make them into ruby bracelets and stuff, because I have quite a few rubies and stuff, but uh, I think I'll do that after my big crafting grind because I don't really need the cash at the moment. I have like almost a mill and battle stuffs there and I've still got 600k. So for the moment, I guess I'll go make the mithril darts. So just finishing off the last couple of mithril bars, I got 6.8k mithril dart tips, which is pretty good. I'll make them into myth darts a little bit later. What I want to do first though is I want to get a plus two boost now, because I got 57 uh, smithing to make mithril grapples. So... I think I'm going to go get that plus two boost and see if I can go make a mithril crap. Crabble. Okay, so first attempt at the boost. 57. Oh, I've got 101 fine making. That's pretty good. Let's try again. So I got the boost. And now let's make two of these. Perfect. Alright, so I'll go make these into mithril grapples and I'll start doing the achievement diaries. Okay, so now I've got the requirements to make the mithril grapples, so let's go ahead and make them. I'm just going to make two in case something happens to the others. So, one and two. I've also bought some feathers, so I'm going to make all these. I'll probably get I might get 72 or 73 fletching, so I might just do that now because I'm kind of bored. I mean, I'm kind of uh, 
feeling a bit lazy, so I'm just gonna sit in the bank and do it. Just finishing up the last couple of myth darts, so this wasn't too long. It's a pretty good experience as well. I think I'm about to hit 73 fletching. I don't really know what I know. I don't really know what I need fletching for anymore. Maybe mage longs or something, but I don't think I'll really ever cut more anyway. But that's still a good level. Now I probably will get started on the achievement diaries. I keep putting it off, so I'll get started now. Okay, so I should show you what I still need for the arty diaries. So I've obviously finished all the easies. And now for medium, I still need to enter the unicorn pen. That's easy. I can grapple over. I've now got that. Harvest some strawberries. I think I have some strawberry seeds, so that's all right. Arty teleport spell. I can do that. I've just always used the cape before, so that's why I haven't done it yet. Travel to Castle Wars by Hot Air Balloon. I've done the quest. I just need to unlock it. Catch any fish. I haven't started Sea Slug, but I can. Pickpocket the Master's Farmer. I'm obviously high enough thieving. Kill a sword check in the Tower of Life. So now I do need to do that quest, but I'm pretty sure it's an easy quest, so that's fine. And visit the island east. I don't think that's too hard either. So... I guess I might as well just do them in order. I'll only show some of the hard ones, I think. This was the last requirement I needed for the RD Medium Diaries. So now I can do every step in the RD Mediums. What I might do is I might make a quick montage of like me just doing all the steps. Oh, it won't be very long, like maybe a minute or something. So I'll go do that now. So that was just a small montage of all the medium diary tasks for Adi, and now this should be the very last one. And there we have it. So now I'm going to go get my reward, and then I'm also going to get the pure essence. So I'll be right back with that. So this will be the first set of diary rewards. I'll obviously put everything on Herbalore. Oh wow, so now I have a new cloak as well. It's pretty cool. Let's get another one. Nice. Alright. Use this on Herblore. I don't actually know how much it is. Is it like 7k? Yeah, not bad. 7.5k. Okay, and now I'm going to go get the Pure S. This was the main reason why I wanted to do the Medium Diaries. So now I can get 100 Pure S every day. Which I know isn't much, but it will help. So that's pretty good. The next tasks I want to get done are Fally Medium, because then it gives me some more farming experience, I think, which... It's pretty good, especially for the tree patches. I now have to do the Falador Diaries, and there's quite a few more things I have to do. It's not too bad. I also have to do like one side quest, I think it's called... Like Skippy or something, and the... And the Mudshot or something? I don't know. Skippy and the Morgs. Yeah. Alright, so... I'll try and get that done, and then I'll try and do all the Felidog Achievement Diaries in one go. Just finishing this side quest of Skippy, it was pretty easy, you just use stuff on them, use stuff on him, and I think I'm done now, after he tells me how he fights them or something. Is that it? Perfect. Oh, I have to go kill one, don't I? Alright, so I'll go do that now, I guess. I've never actually killed these before, because I've never done the side quest, but I know pretty much what I have to do now. So I'll just kill one, and then I'm going to get started on the easy diaries. I think I can safe spot him like this. Something. Not too bad. Give me flippers. 
there for this. Oh well, that was pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another like montage of all the easy tasks and then I'll come back and then I'll do the medium tasks. This is going to be the last step for the Easy Diaries, so let's do it. And there we have it. I'll claim the reward after I finish all the mediums as well. So let's do second montage. The last achievement diary I have to do is put up a scarecrow, so let's do this. And that's everything, so let's go get easy and medium rewards. So I think I get both rewards now. So that's the first one, and the second one. I'll use them both on Herblor, and it should get me 53 Herblor. Nice. Okay, so now... Oh yeah, also recharges prayer. Not too bad. I also get to use my uh, farm patches and they'll give me more experience now. So that's pretty good. So I've lost connection like four times today, so I don't want to do anything which is too risky. What I will do is I'm going to cook all the monkfish I cooked. Oh, sorry, I'm going to cook all the monkfish I caught the other day. And I think that might get me around 70 cooking. So after I get this herb lore level, which is 54, I'm going to go do that and then I'm just going to do everything which is kind of safe because I, I can't believe I've DC'd four times today. It's just uh, really I'm glad I wasn't doing Slayer or something. Just about to get 70 cooking, which is pretty good. I've cooked around 80% of them, which isn't the worst. I don't know when I stop burning them, but I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty high. So I probably will get 71 cooking, but I'm not going to bother showing it because 71 doesn't really mean much. Uh, 70 is a nice round number, but I'll keep cooking until I have none left. And then if I don't DC any more times through the service, I might do something else, or I'll either go back to fishing. I don't want to DC and die, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to end episode 21 here. The servers have been really, really bad. I mean, I've DC'd more today than I have in the last month of playing, so I don't really want to do anything. I'm just going to... I just finished editing the video pretty much now. I'm just going to go to um, back to the Piscatorius or the Swan Song quest place and catch more monkfish. I'm just going to be super safe. Uh, I thought the, this episode was kind of interesting. I will do more achievement diaries eventually, but I just did the ones that I wanted to get done now because of the rewards and other things. So I'll check how many monkfish I've actually cooked. Oh, it's there, so I've cooked 1,400. So that's pretty good. I burnt the rest, but that's not too bad. I can now use this food for Slayer, and I'm really glad I didn't, didn't do Slayer today. I'm guessing quite a few hardcore Ironmen died. The servers were just absolutely atrocious. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next episode.